Alright, so this video we're going to look at finding the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution. And uh, here's the formula. Well, you can see that there are two different formulas. They will both give you the same result. Okay, it's just a you know preference which one you want to use or which one your teacher makes you want to use. Uh, I guess what we'll do is we will uh, We'll just calculate it using both. Uh, I like to use this one here. Um, I just think it's a little easier. Not as much work, but you know, this one may not may seem like less work to you. So, you know, it's whichever one you want to use. So th this formula is the standard deviation. It's the square root of the sum of x minus mu squared times p of x. And this one is the sum of x squared times p of x minus mu squared. Uh, I know that looks like a u, but that's supposed to be mu for the mean. Uh, so, you know, let's, let's go ahead and calculate it. I'll calculate it using this formula first, and then I'll calculate it using this formula. And you'll see we get the, we get the same answer. So let's go ahead and look at our example. All right, so the uh, formula is the standard deviation is the sum of x squared times p of x minus mu squared, and it is the square root of all that. Okay, so you can see that we have to calculate the mean. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add some more columns onto here. So let's let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I've got the columns inserted. So, well, we're going to need the mean. And earlier in another video, I calculated the mean. The formula for the mean is the mean is equal to the sum of x times p of x. Okay, This is a probability distribution. These are the probabilities. And in order for it to be a probability distribution, these numbers here, these probabilities, have to add up to 1. And they do. You can check it. Okay, So so let's go ahead and let's get a column for uh, x times p of x. Okay, so we'll do that column. Uh, let's see. Let's do it in blue. X times p of x. So I'm going to multiply zero times 0 0.0625. That gives me zero. One times 0 0.25 is 0.25. Two times 0.375 is 0. 75. 3 times 0.25 is 0.75 and 4 times 0 0.0625 is 0.25. And so uh, when I add these up, okay, so we just sum these up and that's going to be 2. Okay, so that is my mean. Okay, there's my mean to plug in here. That's mu. All right, so now look what I need. I need to sum up x squared times p of x, okay, x squared times p of x. So the sum is just this part I'm summing, and then once I sum x squared times p of x, then I'm going to subtract off the mean squared, okay. All right, so what I need first is I need a column for x squared. So I need to take each one of these x values here and square them. All right, so let's do x squared, and 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and 4 squared is 16. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to take each number in this column and multiply it times each number in this column. And that will give me my x squared times p of x column. Okay, because I'll need to sum that up. Alright, so 
we've got 0 times 0 0.0625 is 0. 1 times 0.25 is 0.25. And then 4 times 0.375 is 1.5. 9 times 0.25 is 2.25. 5, and 16 times 0 0.0625 is 1. And then I need to sum this column up. So when I sum this column up, that equals 5. See, this is the sum of x squared times p of x. That's this column. And that equals 5. Alright, so now I'm ready to plug everything into my formula. So my standard deviation is equal to the square root. Okay, So I've got the sum of x squared times p of x. The sum of x squared times p of x is 5 minus the mean squared. So that's minus 4 squared. I'm sorry, that's minus 2 squared. And so the standard deviation is the square root. That's 5 minus 4 is 1. And so the standard deviation is 1. Okay. All right, so that's using that formula. Now let's use the other formula. So let me, I'm going to erase all this. I'll pause the video while I do it, and then we'll come back and use the other formula. Okay, so I've erased everything, so now let's use this formula. And I didn't erase this column because we have to find the mean for this one also. And we did it in the last part, so I'm not going to go through finding the mean again. So here's where we calculated the mean on the for the other formula. It would be the same for this one. All right, but you can see what we need here. We need x minus mu squared. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an x minus mu column. So I've got x minus mu. All right, so when I do x minus the mean, so that's 0 minus 2 is negative 2. 1 minus 2 is negative 1. 2 minus 2 is 0. 3 minus 2 is 1. And 4 minus 2 is 1. 2. And then we need to square each of these values. So if I take x minus mu and I square them, okay, so negative 2 squared is 4, negative 1 squared is 1, 0 squared, uh, 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, and 2 squared is 2. All right, and then we need, we actually need one more column, don't we? Let me add that. So that's going to be what? x minus mu squared times p of x. Okay. See, that's what we're summing. We're summing all of this. Okay. See, it's the sum of this times this. So now I'm going to multiply this column, this column times this column. Okay. See, the x minus mu squared times p of x. All right, so let's see. 4 times 0 0.0625 is 0 0.25. Uh, 1 times 0 0.25 is 0.25. 0 times 0 0.375 is 0. 1 times 0 0.25 is 0.25. And uh, 2 times, I'm sorry, Square that, that should be 4, shouldn't it? 4 times 0 0.0625 is 0.25. And then when we sum this up, okay, when we sum this column up, that gives us 1. So my standard deviation is equal to the square root of the sum of this. 
and the sum of this we can see here is 1 and then the square root of 1 is 1. So you can see the first answer that we the answer we use with the other formula matches this one but that's using both formulas and you know looking at it I think the other formula is a little bit easier to use than this one is not as I mean we had to add an extra column over here so uh, but yeah that's how you do it so I uh, hope this helped uh, check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching